this is is getting me a little bit confused. When I see this crystal, I think of Steinkopf uh, in the Orange River region, Northern Cape of South Africa. So Orange River would be the river intersecting between Namibia and South Africa. This would be a mildly smoky quartz floater. So first of all, we're going to look at the top crystallization. But I've seen very, very similar from the Iranga and Namibia. The only difference was that the one from Iranga had some muscovite and uh, um, uh, uh, I think some tourmaline maybe on it. Whereas this one is only the quartz. I expect this to be from Steinkopf. But not in geological terms, distance isn't all that relevant. And, and similar things happen. Uh, of course, the, the Orange River and around Steinkup would, would be pretty far far south of uh, uh, the, the Eronga deposits in Namibia. But this looks very much like the Steinkopf quartz. And what was interesting about Steinkopf, only on one or two occasions did I find amethyst, mainly smoky, also patterns concentrate around the edges of the crystals. Very, very intricate, interesting crystallization, often scepters, etc. This, of course, is not a scepter. And have a look at the faces, second generation of quartz growth on the faces running through. Color on this one is almost a cream milky to, to smoky. Uh, have a look there. Let's have a look at this face again. Quite magnificent. All the way from the Steinkopf deposit in uh, South Africa. Not at all photogenic or, or, or videogenic, but uh, when held in hand, quite a, quite a magnificent piece. Good size too.